Hello, this is Leo5055 doing my review of the Rapid Strike CS18. As you will see in my last video, if you did watch it, I unboxed it and I found this gun epic. It has an adjustable stock, which is really nice. Just depends on what you want to do. If you want to more, do more, then it's good. But if you want to sort of have it one handed like that, you can keep it stable and accurate. It has four sling things, one there and there, on the handle and at the front. It has five tactical rails, one at the bottom, one here, one here, and then one on each side of here and here. It then has a flippable sight and a sight built in to the gun, right there. It has a clear jam door which can open. It has the trigger and the rev. And the clip release is right front, so if you're firing, you can easily just move your thing forward and switch clips. The adjustable stock is really, really nice, but I do find it a bit hard to aim properly with it as the long one. It also has capacity with a long barrel attachment, which you can get from the Retaliator, the Recon, or I think it's the Long Strike, or the Long Strike, I'm not sure which one. I always get those two confused. The feel of the gun is really nice. I said I put a clip on it because it works really, really well with it. But if you don't have a clip, you can still hold it like that. The rate of fire is fantastic. I'm going to try and see here. Yeah. It just sprays out the lights. Now, I do have a problem with the first shot of a clip. With If you fill the clip up, the first shot jams. I do have a bit of trouble with that. I think the first few times I didn't. But then I did, which was really sad. But... It's still an all that good gun. The battery pack is right here at the front. They've got one, two, three screws to unscrew it. The gun is all that epic. I, I love this gun. I picked it up at um, Big W um, yesterday. No, not too. Because by the time I've uploaded this video, it will have. It will be not. It won't be Friday. It'll be Saturday. And so, actually the day I'm doing the giveaway. So, by the, time, well, the day this is uploaded, this is the day I'm doing the giveaway. Announcement. I will then be doing the giveaway on Monday. So yeah, just remember to join the um, the group. The, it's called Lego 50505's giveaway group. If you're in that and I can find your name, if, I, if you're in the group, and on the video, which will be today, if your steam name is in that, is commented on that video, and your steam name is in that group, I will then possibly pick you. But if your name is either only on the video or only in the thing, I won't pick you unless I don't have enough people, unless, unless not enough people do that. If no people join the group or like one person, the, per the one person who does join the group will automatically get a thing, but then everyone else will just get a chance, so. Join the group and um, comment on the video if you want a high chance. It has an 18 dark clear clip. It's good, but the bad thing is that it's so clear. If I have this, you can see how much ammo I have. You can see how much ammunition I have. So it's really, really bad thing. I, was, I think on the box it said, for a quick arrow check, yes I can click, quickly check my ammo, but the enemy can also check my ammo, which is really, really bad. So the gun is actually really, really nice. I love the feel of it. With the grip, I find it at its best, and maybe if you have, um, get the little laser thing from the recon, and you put that, like, there, then that way you can aim, and you can sort of hit fire, you can get an idea of where you are aiming. 
Because it's actually really, cause it gets really good for hip firing. Okay, but you can also fit your hand right there if you're aiming with the grip, which is actually really good. And it actually has a smooth thing right there. I like it's designed to have that. You can actually barely like do that. I also feel like the grip is sort of like an assault rifle with like a grenade launcher. Kind of like the one from like the pulse rifle from Aliens. That's a good movie. So yeah, the clip does have a bit of trouble getting out, but that's all right with me. But I can see why, because if you look in there, this is the thing here that releases the clip. My cut. Might not be able to see well, but right in there. Now this, as you can see, it doesn't really go up and down all that well. Here's like push it really in and it still sticks out a bit. So that's why if I push it a tiny bit, the clip can barely come out, but it has to, I have to put a lot of force and not just pushing it all the way in. And the clip slides out really, really easily. So the clip release is very poor, but it's like really good. The way they've done it and made it is really nice. I would recommend getting this gun, but now we're going to do a range test. <laughs>